Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your August 2018 monthly reading. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically my readings are love readings, so whatever comes out, comes out, but I focus on love. Um, if it feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it wrong it's wrong. That means if this might not be your reading. Okay, it may be, it may not be, because I can't read for every single person. Okay, I just, I, I, you know, this is not a private reading, okay? This is for a collective, so it may not resonate. You guys probably have to make a complex decision, and, and you know, these are both decision cards, big decision card. You guys have to make a big decision. Could be in regards to a divorce or marriage. It could also be something in regards. You could be dealing with some legal issues. Do you want to go to court or not? You know that could be a that could be a a thought that you're having. Either way, you do have to make a decision, and you're trying to figure out which is the right way to go. Aha! Uh -huh. You could be dealing with a Libra. I just have to say that. Um, so, or you could be dealing with anybody. Anybody. An, another sign that is taking on these energies of um, abuse. Okay, this is the King of Swords in reverse is abusive. Could be any sign. Any sign. Somebody that is mentally, verbally, emotionally, or even physically abusive. This is uh, somebody that will do anything to bring another person down. So just keep that in mind. And any single sign can take on these energies, okay? So I feel like you are probably um, dealing with another person that they may be bullying you, okay? Somebody may be bullying you and you're thinking about how you're going to handle this situation or they're hurting you in some way. Now, I said Libra because this is Libra and this is Libra as well. And typically, this is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But like I said, anybody can take on these energies. But this one is Libra. Um, this right here is realizing that you have other opportunities, real, beginning to realize the truth, that whatever you're in isn't bringing happiness. It's not bringing joy to your life, this Five of Cups reversed. This is beginning to realize that you know, there are other options for me. I don't need to stay in this situation where I'm not being treated very well, okay? Because this, in reverse, is any person, probably a man, doesn't have to be a man, but somebody that's very, has a lot of masculine energies is not treating you well. That's what I see. And I feel as though you're, you're you know starting to think about your decision is thinking about other options i mean do i want this divorce do i want this split do i want to continue to keep things unbalanced or how can i bring balance back to my life you know that's what's going on here you're trying to figure out you know what's going to be best for you you've been losing sleep over this there's been a lot of anxiety and a lot of depression and a lot of worry. Even perhaps some guilt. Because this person in reverse can make you feel guilty for something you didn't even really do. So, you know, don't, don't feel guilty for who you are, okay? I feel like the Eight of Swords in reverse is, is lies. It's obstacles that are in the way. And these are mental, okay? These are thoughts, ideas that... You know, somebody in this person, whoever this person is, like I said, it could be any sign, is putting negative thoughts into your head. It's almost like, and I hate to use this word, narcissistic. I mean, I hate to use it, but I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is, is bringing you down and making you think that it's you when it ain't really you. You know what I'm saying? That's what it looks like to me. It looks like, you know, you... You're, and you, but you know it isn't you, even though every once in a while you, you start to believe it's you. I see that. But I see that you guys also have a lot of confidence and that you guys are very strong, okay? You guys have a lot of strength within you, a lot of knowledge, too. You're very knowledgeable about, and you have a lot of integrity, 
I see that you guys, you are very noble. Um, and you may decide, this is a decision as well. So we have decision, decision, decision. This is unable to make the decision. And so you're delaying it. You're delaying this decision that needs to be made. But you may suddenly, this could be a sudden decision on the horizon. Maybe all of a sudden you get this epiphany. You decide to leave or you decide to stay or you make this complex decision on the fly. So just keep that in mind. Um, this is also fear of change. Fear of taking that new road because this is what you know. But this is letting go of baggage. This is making a conscious change to drop what no longer serves you. This is freeing yourself. This is personal freedom that comes from you making a conscious change. To drop the baggage, to drop the responsibility, to drop the burdens, to drop the heavy weight that's holding you back. This is a heavy weight. You see how heavy it is? That's a heavy freaking load. This is a heavy weight as well. You guys are carrying on a heavy weight and it's causing you stress. But your fear of the unknown, your fear of, of making the wrong decision, you're, you're being held back by your own restrictive thoughts. But you are beginning to realize that there's something more. You're not being practical. <laughs> Somebody isn't being practical. Not using their wisdom. Being stubborn, being hard-headed. Holding on to something that is too heavy. Damn it all. Um, this is somebody that you know, is all about security. This is secure? Is that what this is? This is secure to you? Because this is what you know? But it's causing resent. Right now you're staying with the safest option because it's better than being alone, perhaps? Maybe it's financially secure. And that's it. I don't see any love in these cards. None. None. No love there. Sorry. Not saying that you guys, I know that you guys are lovers, okay? I do. I absolutely know that you guys are lovers. I know that you're caregivers. I know that you guys put everybody above before yourselves. And I don't care what you cross watchers have to say. This reading is for Aquarius, su Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You're dealing with somebody who's probably telling you the opposite of what I just said. Other people see, other people, your friends, your family, people that really know you, see that you're noble. They see that you have a lot of confidence. They see that you're strong. And they see that you're the boss. They see that you can take the lead at any time. They see that. Your challenge position is this eight of swords. Getting out of your head and stop letting this person intimidate you. That's your challenge. You're allowing it. You're allowing your own thoughts to control your destiny. And your own thoughts. I think there's a person influencing your thoughts. Telling you, you know, that you're not all this. You're not all that. Blah, 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 blah. That's what it is. Blah, 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 blah. You know, when somebody says those things to you, it's a reflection of themselves. I know you've heard that before, but I'm just here to remind you. They're projecting their demons onto you. And because you're such a caring, feeling person, you're letting it. It's empathy.
Independence looks real good. You, this is the independent woman or man. This is somebody that takes care of business on their own. Uh, abundance. This is enjoying the finer things in life. Single, grateful, the storm is over. An increase in prosperity, abundance, security, stability, and self-love. You have what it takes to take care of yourself just fine. If the, if the question is, do I want a divorce or do I want a split? I'm here to tell you that you have everything you need to take care of yourself. You will be absolutely fine. This is freedom again. <laughs> freedom? Freedom. Okay, this is freedom from some sort of toxic connection. Restoring control. Taking back control of your life. Not letting yourself be manipulated. No. No, no. Upright, it's manipulation. Reverse is no. You can't manipulate me. Good try. Release. Release this heavy weight. Heavy weight, heavy weight. Release in reverse. Release, heavy weight, heavy weight. Release it. So that you can find true love. There's an opportunity for true love. This could be a new opportunity waiting for you. This is over in the future arena. But you have to release the heavy weight though. You have to make a conscious change to accept. This is, this is basically, I mean, this is the Ace of Cups and this is the Ace of Cups right here. This is the Four of Cups. There's a new opportunity waiting for you. After you release, release the, whatever it is that's bringing you backwards, bringing you down, holding, that you're holding on to. You have to make a complex decision, but I feel like you fear the unknown, not knowing if you're ever going to find this true love. But I'm here to tell you that you have it, and there's a soulmate connection here. But you have to allow yourself to step outside of your comfort zone and get out of your head. Remove the obstacles. This card, Eight of Swords Reversed, is remove obstacles. You have to remove the obstacles to find this love, this true love. And this is the Two of Cups right here. You do. You have a new love waiting for you, whatever this is. Something that is more emotionally fulfilling. But you've got somebody manipulating you, and this is when you free yourself from the manipulator. And these are thoughts. Now, you could be you could be your own manipulator by staying in staying hooked to a situation that is no longer fruitful. Even if you're not with that person physically, if you're still and there's a lot of mental thoughts here. If you're still hanging on to it mentally, you have to you it's up to you to step outside and to drop those thoughts. And stop hanging on to it. You have to free yourself. You have to release. Release those thoughts. Release those thoughts. Swords are thoughts. Release thoughts. Release thoughts. Okay? You have to. You have to. Oh, my gosh. Okay? This is thoughts as well. But the five of swords reverse. That's stepping outside of your ego. That's the ego card right there. This is an ego card. Two ego cards right together. Ego, ego. This is releasing ego. This is releasing ego. They are. They are. I just want to be happy. I want to be happy. It's not worth it for me to stay in this situation that is bringing me down, that is affecting me in such a way that I can't sleep at night. Do you want to prove to the world or prove to yourself or prove to the, to everybody else that, you know, I can make this work because I said I could make it work? Or do you just want to be happy? It's not about, that's ego. Ego wants to prove to everybody in their circle that they didn't make a mistake. Or do you just want to be happy? 
because there's an opportunity for happiness and love when you step outside of your ego and release this heavy weight that's causing you to lose sleep and worry and be stressed and sad and whatever. It's, you, once you release it, there will be relief and you will find love. There's an opportunity for love here. For those of you that have released the thoughts or this person that isn't really focused on you. I think you're you're involved with somebody that there's no still no love. It's new love. Okay, this is new love. There's the whoever it is that you're hanging on to, they're not focused on love. They're not. They're focused on money, security, their home, their job, what they can get, how you can care for them. They're not focused on love. You deserve love. But right now, <sighs> nobody's being honest. This is dishonesty. I don't want to deal with the conflict. I, maybe you need to set some boundaries. It's like there's no boundaries set here. Again, thoughts. There's so many negative thoughts here that are holding you back from true love. You're only hurting yourself by not accepting the truth of a situation. This is release. You need to release. Okay? You need to release. Somebody is scared of change. Now this could be job related or love related. You're dealing with somebody who doesn't have your best interest at heart. They're only thinking about themselves. Very selfish, very, very, very selfish energy around you. And you deserve to be loved, Aquarius. That's what I see. I feel like this is a month of you hopefully dropping, releasing this heavy weight. Removing this obstacle so that you can find love. This obstacle is a thought that you can't take care of yourself, that you, you know, whatever it is. You can. There's a new opportunity that is much better suited for you that will be a hell of a lot more emotionally fulfilling if you step out of your comfort zone and stop hurting yourself by staying in this situation that is weighing you down. We're going to get one of these. Oh, we got two. Forgiving and learning. <laughs> As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments, like I just said. This is just summed up the whole reading. I said you release this heavy weight. You find love. That's what this says. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments. After you release, you will find love. Even if it's self-love. Self-love leads to soulmate love. It does. It does. You get to this independence. You get to this self-love. Then we find the soulmate with this two of cups down here. Okay? Release and heal whatever this is that's weighing you down so that love can come, please. Oh my God. True love. I didn't look at it. This is the romance of a lifetime waiting for you. What the hell are you waiting for? Now I got one of these for everybody else, so I'm going to get one for you as well.
Here it is. Wait. Honor your resistance. Sometimes no action is the best action at all of all. Hmm. Take that however it resonates with you. That's what you've been doing, I think. Hmm. I just happened to look down, and this is what's at the bottom of the deck. Take a risk. You have the power within to move mountains. However, whatever. I feel like you've been waiting. You've been resisting change. But I feel, and you should honor that. You've put in all the effort that you can put in, and I think that's what this is. You've given it your all. And now it's time to release it. That's what I see. Release and heal the past. You experience more love in your present moments. But what just crossed my mind is you people only hear what they want to hear. Some of you will only see this and not even realize this. Therefore, you, your weight will get heavier and heavier and heavier. Take a risk. True love. I know what the hell I would do. Talk to you later.